What's up, guys? Welcome back to Sit Down with Sid podcast. This is episode number 24. Our guest today is a business mentoring expert and the chief heartpreneur at Heartpreneur. She is a best selling author, keynote speaker, radio host, and appears regularly in the media as a business coaching and consulting expert. Her best selling book, Turbo Charge How to Transform Your Business as a Heart Repreneur, became an instant bestseller among business owners around the globe. Without any further ado, it's my pleasure to welcome Terry Levine. Hi, Terry. Hey there, Sid. Good to be with you. Thanks for having me. Thanks so much for uh, being a part of this uh, journey. Uh, so, Terry, before we kind of dive into the podcast, would you uh, take a moment and tell our, our audience a little bit about your background? Sure. Yes, I have owned eight different businesses over the course of my career, um, and each one of them grew to at least a million dollar level, many to multi million dollar levels. And I have been a business coach and consultant now for almost three decades. This is what I love doing, and I help business owners learn how to truly transform and make breakthroughs for other people and how to connect with the right target audience. That's perfect. Uh, so uh, since you mentioned you have been uh, in the coaching industry for almost three decades, uh, you came up with the modern coaching method. Now, could you tell us a little bit about what kind of techniques you use in this and how does this approach differ from the other coaching methods uh, that we see? Yeah, so most of the way that people are trying to attract clients and then set up their businesses are not really effective in my viewpoint. So when I started in the industry, I got 30 clients in 30 days. I did about half a million the first year, a million the second year, and went on to do multi-millions. And it's by doing what I actually put together in the modern coaching method. How did I do it? Well, there wasn't social media and there wasn't email, thank goodness. I did it by literally picking up the phone, talking to people I already knew in my own sphere and not providing a demo like people do, which is really a sales pitch in disguise, truly giving people a 90 minute to two hour breakthrough. Where at the end of the time, we had a deep heart to heart connection, they had a breakthrough and they might choose to work with me or refer somebody to me. So the modern coaching method teaches you how to do deep dive, deep dive transformations, how to connect with your target audience. You don't have to market, sell or advertise. And then finally, how to establish your coaching business with all the templates, checklists, calendars, planners, all my emails, all my joint venture letters, everything that's proven. You don't need anything else to do millions of dollars in coaching every year the way I do and my clients do. So, so pretty much your coaching method kind of differs with the traditional marketing methods which companies adopt. A hundred percent, because in my experience, most coaches make little to no money because they're all following a broken method. So this is actually a proven method. And I even guarantee Sid $100,000 in six months when you apply the method, because 100% of the time it works. None of my students who've applied have ever, ever failed. You know, it's, 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 uh, it's, it's interesting that you brought up the guarantee part. Uh, so is there a certain kind of business you, you look for, or do you have a certain niche of businesses you work with? I prefer people in what I call transformational business. So it's coaching, consulting, healthcare, advising. You have to be able in the businesses I work with to create a transformation. Mm -hmm. So when okay. I help you and transform your business, you're passing it forward and transforming more people's business, relationships, lives, health. That's what's important to me. Great. So uh, according to you also, um, I, I read this on your site, a person's or business's success is completely dependent on its business model. Now, from a coaching point of view, how does that correlate to each other? Do you have any metrics in place that somehow ties this together? Yeah, 100%. So if you have a proven model, not just that like, hey, one coach happened to use it and it worked for them. I mean, it has worked. I've done this with 6,000 clients and eight multi-million dollar businesses. Then you have a proven model and every time you take a step and implement something, you're checking, how did that work? How did that land? How did that resonate? If you do a webinar, how many people viewed it? How many people stayed to the end? If there was a call to action, how many people took you up on that? 
And you always want to be looking at numbers. And I find a lot of entrepreneurs don't do this. They just keep, for example, posting on Facebook. And I'm like, that post got like five views. People didn't resonate with it. This post got a thousand views, but you didn't notice that. So you have to really pay attention to the metrics when you're implementing a proven model. Does that make sense, Sid? Yeah. So, so if you can kind of elaborate more, I understand the metrics part. But, but from a coaching point of view, is it more revenue-based? Like, is your end result to be a coach is to help these businesses make, say, X amount of dollars? Or is it to grow their branding or, like, uh, set them apart from their competitors? Great question. So, first of all, um, no, none of us need branding. And this is a, a big mistake entrepreneurs make. They spend all this time and money on websites and business cards and social media profiles and all these fancy things for branding. No one hires me, you, or anybody else because we have a brand. We're not Nike. We're not Coca-Cola. So that's number one thing I teach entrepreneurs. You're wasting time doing all the wrong things. However, you do need to set yourself apart. And the way you set yourself apart, in my experience, is to do what no one else is doing, to create transformation and breakthroughs for people just for the sake of doing it, not as a way to get clients, find clients, attract clients, literally to make heart-to-heart -heart connections passing forward what you know, creating true breakthroughs for people. And some of those people will raise their hands and say, yes, I want to work with you and some won't. So the very first thing is create breakthroughs. The second thing is forget branding and expenses and time wasted on networking events and blogging and hiding behind your computer and scanning social media all day. The next thing is set up your business right so that, yes, you can create $100,000 and more. You can go on to seven figures once you have the right model. And the model needs to be scalable, which means it can't be you doing one-to-one -one for your entire business. So I have a couple of things I want to bring this up. Uh, you said no branding, correct? So in this consumer-centric market, in this digitized world, you know, I mean, how else can you set yourself apart? Like, right? personally, I feel, in my opinion, branding gives you credibility. That's just my take. So, so I just want to understand, like, so for people like us who have this mindset, you know, in this digitized era, right? branding is once again building your credibility. You know, setting yourself apart. You are actually telling us that it does not make sense to you as a business coach for us to do something like that. The licenses, they're irrelevant. When clients hire me, they don't hire me because I'm some brand. They hire me because I have given them 90 minutes to two hours of my time, completely mm -hmm. invested in them, created a breakthrough that no one else has created. So I have set myself apart in the market because no one does it. And therefore, that's why they invest. So all this branding that people think they need to build credibility, everybody's lookalike. I go to every coach's website or LinkedIn profile, and they all have this, quote, credibility. Big deal. You were on ABC like I've been or CNN like I've been. Big deal. That doesn't help me as your client. That's an ego thing. It doesn't help me that you have a fancy logo. That's all about you. That has nothing to do with me, the consumer. So I totally disagree with branding. In fact, just give you a quick story. I have a client brand new, four days with mm -hmm. me, no branding at all. All I had him do was use my language, offer transformation sessions. He just left me a video. He has five deep dive transformations scheduled, five really good prospective clients in the next two weeks. So no brand. He has no website. He has no business card. Um, his credibility comes from being his word and creating breakthroughs. Interesting. Uh, mm -hmm. Very interesting perspective. Now, I I also want people to know that you're one of the best-selling authors and you have published various books on sales, marketing, coaching, entrepreneurship. So what inspired you to write these books? And, and, and my second part to this is, of all the books you have written, do you have one that is your favorite and why is that? Oh, boy, that's a really good question. So I have written over 40 books. I'm not advocating that other people do this. Writing is my hobby. My inspiration for writing the books came from doing a seminar in like 1999 or 2000. 
and it was called Work Yourself Happy. And I was mm-hmm. teaching people how to find their passion. And on the first break, a gentleman came up to me and said, did you put this in a book yet? And I was like, no. And he said, I'm a publisher. Here's my card. Call me. And Monday we had lunch. This was on a Friday. In my books, I can impact millions of people throughout the world. So that's why I've written the books. And this is actually an easy question of all the books I've written, which is my favorite and why? Well, truly my favorite is my latest one, which is called The Conversion Equation, because I spent two years dissecting all my clients' businesses with them and saying, what is it that you did that I have to teach another entrepreneur? What did I teach you that somebody else has to learn? So I teach the conversion equation formula to build, grow, and scale your business and There's case history after case history. So you can find somebody just like you and you can literally live vicarious through through them, then replicate what they did and have their success. So the conversion equation. Conversion equation. And and, uh, uh, we actually uh, will put your Amazon link on the description box of this video so people can check out your books and definitely purchase, uh, uh, you know, some of your books. Now, your book, The Turbo Charge, How to Transform Your Business, became an instant bestseller around the globe. A couple of things. Number one is, did you expect such a good response? And what was some of the most interesting feedback you received on that book? Yeah, so it was interesting. So I took the concepts in Heartrepreneur, and I put the, this into the book, Turbo Charge Your Business as a Heartrepreneur. And my expectation was that because we have around 7,000 people in my Facebook group, Heartrepreneurs with Terry Levine, a number of them would be interested in the Heartrepreneur process. I didn't expect <laughs> to have a literally, you know, international overnight success. Um, and it, it really showed me how many people are tired of doing business in a transactional way. And the biggest feedback that we've gotten is that it was a huge shift in how to do business and how to do it much simpler without selling marketing and advertising, which is what most coaches and consultants don't want to do. All they want to do is share their gifts. And so people felt empowered through the book. Very nice. Now, we talk about Hartfordpreneur. You know, that's, that's a name you came up with. How did you come up with this name? I mean, this is something I've heard for the first time in my life, you know, it's, can you, yeah, I mean, so can you tell us a little bit about, you know, how did this happen? What was the idea behind this? Sure. So it's actually wasn't even me coming up with the name. I was with my publisher, we're in New York, and we were there to review a book I was working on. And I had a contract for the book and he looked at the manuscript and he threw it on the floor and said, I don't want this book. And I'm like, dude, we have a contract. What are you doing? And he said, Terry, I've known you for 11 years. I want a book on Hartrepreneur. And I went, Hartrepreneur, what? Like, I have no idea what you're talking about. And he said, it's how you do business. You connect with people. You're authentic. You're genuine. Give me that book. So I had to take the train home from Philadelphia, from New York back to Philadelphia. And the whole time, like Hartrepreneur, Hartrepreneur. And all of a sudden, it was like one of these I could have had a V8 moment. So I'm like, oh, I get it. It's the way that I do business without selling and marketing. Um, And so I got home and I instantly rebranded my company under Heartrepreneur and went and even trademarked the word Heartrepreneur because it resonated so deeply with me. So I thank my publisher for that. And Heartrepreneur truly stands for integrity, transparency, and authenticity. And it is the way that entrepreneurs do business. Great. So, so do you have a tagline for entrepreneur? Like any slogan? Very simple. Or... Doing business heart to heart. Very doing simple. Business, <laughs> doing business heart to heart. Uh, so I, I had this thought, you know, leadership and coaching, you know, somehow goes hand to hand. So being in this industry for so long, uh, let me ask you, do you think the best leaders are great coaches? I definitely do. I think the skills of coaching, the soft skills of being a coach, powerful questions, powerful requests, whatever it might be, really creates amazing leadership. And in one of my books um, called Stop Managing, Start Coaching, I literally teach that leadership skills are mm-hmm. coaching skills. And the other piece that goes with that, Sid, is when you're doing a breakthrough session with a client, 
take the leadership role. I find a lot of times that coaches aren't sitting in the leadership position, yet they have all those abilities. So yes, use your leadership skills. The best leaders, in my view, 100% are the best coaches. Interesting. Uh, now, I want to talk about core unique positioning statements. You know, What is actually a core unique positioning statement and how it helps you to position yourself in the market, say, differently than everyone else? I'm glad we're coming to this since we started with branding and I was like, no branding. So core unique positioning statements, a trademark term of Heartrepreneur is something that I developed and it's not the same as an elevator pitch or USP. It starts with I help or I serve or I support then specifically who women age 40. Okay. Specifically mm -hmm. who get what one result, lose 20 pounds in a month. And mm -hmm. then the last word, the last part is how using my proprietary proven system. And the final word is guaranteed. So the way that you set yourself apart, you don't need all this credibility. I did a TED talk. I was on ABC. I have a blog, blah, blah, blah. You need a core unique positioning statement. So mm -hmm. you stand out from everyone else and you're not a cookie cutter. So no one can cross out their name, your name and put their name in and go, oh, that's me. Or your website doesn't look like theirs. So for example, mine is I help coaches and consultants mm -hmm. make deep connections with prospects to mm -hmm. scale their business to 100,000 in six months using the modern coaching method, guaranteed. That is an example. And there's no one else who can say that because no one else has my system. No one else has my guarantee. That's what you need, a core unique positioning statement. So, so let me ask you, Terry, now you said, uh, you know, $100,000 in revenue in six months. Do you have any breakthrough method after that like for example you know you, if your tier one is hundred thousand dollars in six months then do you have tier two say half a million in 12 months or a million dollar in two years do you have any benchmarks so when somebody has followed the modern coaching method formula they can earn their first six figures and mm -hmm. then literally by just rinsing and repeating you can go on from there so one of my clients mia redrick she started with me. She earned her first hundred grand in a few months. And then she rinsed and repeated and then was at 350,000. And then she was at 800,000 and then a million. And she's gone on to do millions and millions every single year. So it's the same method. I'm not one of these coaches that's like, oh, here's my program. Now let me upsell you to the next thing. I give everything in one program. That's the only program that I believe a coach needs for their lifetime and I make it ridiculously affordable because my entire goal is to pass forward and to help other people and to have the kind of success that I've been able to enjoy. So, so do you stay with them in the initial stages once they reach the ben benchmark or are you with them for as long as they want you to be with them? Great question. So they go through the modern coaching method. It's about a nine week program okay. and they do get to interact with me every single day, Monday through Friday, ask me questions, upload what they're working on, get my feedback, um, get additional tools and resources. The program, they have it for an entire year, even though it's nine weeks, they can go through it over and over and over again. If they want my help and implementation, I then will do some laser coaching with them as often as they want or need. And so like Mia, who I mentioned a moment ago, she's been with me almost 20 years. And people have said, well, Terry, you have clients 15, 17 years. Why? Because we start at one place, we build to the next. Now Mia has a company versus a business. Everything is automated. She works 21 hours a month. And she makes huge breakthroughs through a gigantic group of women who follow her. So that's what I help people do, evolve, scale, grow. And some of them even sell their business or pass it on to their families as a legacy. That's amazing. So, so in your own eyes, what are some of the factors that have led you to be so successful in this industry? Hmm. Number one, I don't do what everybody else is doing. I literally okay. do the opposite. Okay, that's number one. 
Um, number two is I all I don't care about sales, marketing, and enrolling people, which is what most people care about. All I care about is creating breakthroughs. Whether somebody mm -hmm. hires me or doesn't hire me, I don't care. I show up and I'm of service. Mm -hmm. The other thing is I am committed. Find a way or make a way. I am in no excuse zone. I am a no quitter. Mm -hmm. I am a person who is also a continuous learner and I have my own coaches and consultants now. I've had coaches and consultants for 40 years. My first one was Zig Ziglar. Um, so oh, wow. I, I have eight of them right now. So I'm successful because I have other people that hold me accountable, that lift me up and that also show me my blind spots. So that, those are my factors. Wait, so, so Terry, who is your role model in this world? in this business uh, that you're in. Do you have a role model? So I have a role model um, and I'm not allowed to say his name. He is okay. one, of my, my, one of my coaches. I'll just give you a clue. He has a private island um, and he's my role model. Why? Because he's not in this industry and he's running bigger and faster than me. I, in the beginning for the first 12 years, I had lots of coaches and consultants in the industry because that's what I needed. I don't need that now. I need someone who knows how to take the business and make a legacy out of it. So when Terry Levine is no longer on the planet, Heartrepreneur can still serve people. That's amazing. Uh, well, Terry, this has been an honor. It's been an honor to get to know you and uh, get to know your methods. Uh, just a closing statement, you know, if you wanted to give a message to our audience watching this podcast, what would that be? <laughs> Stop doing what every other coach is doing. In fact, run in the other direction. No marketing. I'm serious. No selling, no advertising. I said it earlier, even no branding. Make it simple. A core unique positioning statement Then simply offer heart-to-heart -heart connections, create breakthroughs. That's the modern coaching method, Sid. Thanks so much, Sherry. I mean, thank you so much once again for being uh, with us today. And, uh, uh, you know, I will definitely... Uh, you know, check out some of your books. I would love to read actually the conversion uh, one that you mentioned. Yeah. And, uh, you know, we wish you all the very best. And once again, thanks so much for being with us. Thank you. It was a pleasure. And I loved your questions. Thank you so much. Have a good day. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.